learning is done best when you're not operating into massive fatigue. If you train someone and they're already smoked, they're learning this much. Be sensitive and be aware of that. Now, I'm not saying that as soon as they're starting to slightly break a sweat, they need to take a break. It's not it at all. You need to see what their body's capable of in terms of form and in terms of coordination. When coordination goes, so does alignment. And then this is what we're going to work on from here. You're going to turn to one side and the other and just reach out and then come back. Hands in the center. And then turn to the other side, reach out, and then come back. Each time as you do this, you're trying to keep your torso long and keep that pelvis quiet. So now from here, from the waist up, it's dynamic. From the waist down, it's static. Again, you want to really set, reset each time. Tilt and tuck. So make sure that the top hip goes down and the pelvis tilts forward. If you have someone work on a more advanced pattern when they don't own the prerequisites, the body's not learning the lesson you want it to or the lesson that they need it to. Okay, and switch. But if they're really good on one side and not so good on the other side, you need to figure out why. And working with the FMS or the SFMA will really help that. Balance over the base knee, almost not using your front foot at all. Spine tall, neck loose, chest wide, pelvis tucked. And now this time as you're reaching, try and take your eyes all the way towards your back finger. Chest wide, shoulders down. So especially at the end of the end range, really just try and drop your shoulders and spread your chest. Notice that right now, Jimmy just took time to really recalibrate the hips before doing the next rep. That's important. The reps that you do above a weak or an unstable or an incorrect platform just reinforce bad habits. Long neck, really reach. Eyes, try and sight your fingernails in the backhand. There's a smoker for you, believe it or not, especially for your clients that aren't used to that or are very quad dominant or very unused to training the posterior chain or even stabilizing like that. That will fry you.